one. This William will, if you wish. And this is the sermon for December 11, 2022. And please, moment of silence for prayer, meditation, what have you. All right, thank you. Today's sermon will be is called "The King and the Seeds." And as always, it can be found on alltimeshortstories.com. I read it. Once there lived a great king, renowned for being wise and intelligent. As the thought of retiring came to the king's mind, he spoke word across the kingdom that he was soon to appoint a new successor to his throne. The news of the search of for a new successor caused a great stirring across the land. The king was considered to be the wisest to have come to power. His clever politics had helped to build a just and content nation over the course of his ruling. Very few were surprised to know he was in root of the one worthy of the throne. The king called the youth of the nation together and gathered in the royal hall. The king gave each of them a seat and said, this is a very special seed. I want all to and come back after a year to have. Based on what you bring back, I will decide the next king of the country. Everyone left this gathering with a seed. They silently planted their seeds and waited for it to grow. As the months passed by, the youth of the country were talking about how their plant has grown tremendously. Among all the youth, there was a young man not even sprouted. Although he used, used to water the seed every day and did everything to make it grow, the seed, would, the seed wouldn't grow. He could hear the people talking about their plants. But still, he had nothing. A year had passed from the day the seed was distributed. All the youth was summoned to the palace where they were to display the outcome of their seeds. The young man whose seed did not grow as, uh, as others was very reluctant to even attend the gathering. But his mother insisted he go in the plate with what he had because his had been true and there was no shame showing that. The man went to the palace with his pot of soil. In the gathering he was amazed to see the variety of beautiful the others had grown. The young man put his empty pot while a number of others were laughing as he did so. The young man was embarrassed to be there. When they arrived expected each he slowly examined all of the foliage and the beaming children that accompanied them. The young man was hiding in the back trying to go. The king found him and gave pause. Walking over he he eyed the young man and his plant closely but he said nothing ordered his car the young man to the young man was very sad as the king had noticed his utter failure to grow a seed. Arriving at the front the guards let him go, leaving him standing alone 
many of whom were snickering and pointing. The king called the young man closer. He held his hand and raised and told everyone, your new king. The king said, one year ago, I you to take the seed, plant it, water it, and bring it back. What you were unaware of was that every seed I handed out had been boiled beforehand, so that none of them were fit to grow. All of you were a tree of your seed. The seed through these plants were not the ones I provided you. Look upon the only honest one among you, this young man, and know now that he deserves to be your ruler. Honesty is the first chapter in the book of which Thomas Jefferson. This um, is kind of goes along with the sermon. Um, pretty much the same week where C is the best policy. And all the other people if you continuously lie you will get caught. Um, but not everything is a lie. Even if you say something that's untrue, if you believed it was true at the time you said it, lie. So, to but, um, yeah. As I said last week, honesty is the best policy. And those who lie knowingly lie will always get caught in it so remember when we all come together and I was